and his team pressing through now for a fairly emphatic victory. Again, not a big surprise that Ireland are going to win this game, but I think Joe Schmidt will be fairly happy with the attacking that he's seen from his side. And they've had to do a fair amount in defence as well, it has to be said. And yes, as you can see, Paul O'Connell has left the building. So Donica Ryan into the pack. I think Joe Schmidt took the opportunity to get Paul O'Connell off as the uh, try was being scored and the roof didn't necessarily have to get blown off. <laughs> The safe and sorry, there's another man that you know well, Jordan Richard Thorpe coming on wearing the number 20 jersey for Canada, former Tigers colleague, of course. Yeah, Thorpe is a, a great guy, he's been playing in London Welsh the last couple of years, but a, uh, a very good ball hog, on, and uh, he's just managed to give himself a penalty away as, as I talk him up now. You might want to explain the ball hog reference. Oh, um. Jacqueline getting over the ball when a tackle is made, the first man over the ball to try and steal it from the opposition is a, uh, is a term probably that, that I would use. More often than not, wears the number seven shirt or does the job in the back row that Richard Thorpe has been so adept at. Another born in Toronto, which is why he's playing for Canada. Getting his tackles in there as Ireland look to finish on a high. Into the final five minutes of this game, Jordan. Let's look at the Canadian perspective first up. What can they take from this game uh, before they go in, into their next matchup at Leeds? As Ian Madigan makes the break, Madigan feeds on, and Jared Payne trundles over for number three, and it's all going Ireland's way right now. Great, Nick, great play by Ian Madigan. Saw the opportunity one on one. The impressive thing, he knew where his support would be. Always knew Payne was going to be there and, and executed the pass right at the right time as well. And what, what can Canada take from this? It certainly probably won't be defence. Um, I, I think when they've played at high tempo, when they've got some go forward ball and got over the game line, they've looked threatening. They, they potentially need to hold on to a little bit more ball. And they looked a little bit devoid of, of ideas when the Irish defence was set in front of them. So I think that would be an area that they want to look at. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not been the the end of the world today, both wings have played quite well and, and um, hopefully Evans isn't too bad, he's having a good first half as well. And from an Irish perspective, has Joe Schmidt got everything out of this that he was looking for? Have all boxes been ticked? He's got seven tries in the bag. Yeah, I think so, I think it's a great run out. I think the pace of the game in the second half, half has been very high, you know, you look at the Irish players now, they're blowing, they certainly had a very good fitness hit, and they get off the ground and, and they've got the win, scored some good tries, had the opportunity to blood some, some players. Hopefully no injuries, and uh, yeah, it's been a great start, start for Ireland. Well, there was Ian Madigan making the bus to feed his outside centre as Ireland raised their metaphorical bat for the half-century. Madigan certainly has made a good impression since coming off the bench with, what was it, 55 minutes on the clock for Johnny Sexton, so an impact player off the bench is invaluable.